Hello everybody and welcome to Car Comparator. After our first video comparing the Volvo EX30 to the MG4, we're now moving on to comparing the EX30 with the Jeep Avenger Electric. Again, we will explore the differences in dimensions, range, performance, pricing and more. So let's get started. The Jeep Avenger, a compact electric SUV, is the US brand's first fully electric car. The exterior design blends ruggedness with modernity, targeting a young and active customer. It retains iconic Jeep features like the seven-slot grille, while adding new elements such as an aerodynamic front bumper. Taken together, these qualities render it an attractive option for customers in search of a compact and stylish electric SUV. On the other side, we have the Volvo EX30, which also falls within the compact SUV segment. Blending classic Volvo design features with a modern Scandinavian style, the exterior of the Volvo EX30 sets it apart as an exceptional option in the electric vehicle market. The EX30 is positioned as the smallest Volvo vehicle currently on sale, below the XC40 and C40 crossovers. Let's find out how the Jeep and the Volvo compare in terms of their exterior dimensions. The Jeep Avenger boasts a wheelbase of 256 centimeters, while the Volvo takes the lead with 265 centimeters, marking a difference of 9 centimeters in favor of the Volvo. Moving on to length, the Avenger measures in at 408 centimeters, whereas the EX30 stretches out to 423 centimeters, resulting in a substantial difference of 15 centimeters favoring the EX30. And also in terms of width, the Volvo is the bigger one, with 184 centimeters compared to 178 centimeters for the Jeep, a gap of 6 centimeters. So when it comes to exterior dimensions, the EX30 seems to have the edge over the Jeep Avenger. All right, time to open the doors and explore the interiors of both cars. The interior design of the Jeep Avenger can be labeled as robust. In contrast to many other new cars, there are still plenty of physical buttons present on the dashboard and steering wheel. The interior includes more hard black plastic than soft touch materials, giving the impression of ruggedness and durability. A unique feature is the extension of the body color onto the dashboard. The Volvo EX30 features a minimalist interior design inspired by Scandinavian nature, with an emphasis on sustainability and eco-friendly materials. The cabin feels spacious with ample headroom and the comfortable front seats, providing a pleasant riding experience. The interior includes four expressive designs, each incorporating renewable and recycled materials. Volvo's focus on this topic underscores its dedication to sustainability within the electric car industry. In the realm of infotainment, the Jeep Avenger is equipped with the Uconnect operating system developed by Stellantis. This system is also utilized in several other cars under the Stellantis umbrella, like Peugeot, Opel, Citroën and Fiat. Measuring 10.25 inches, the landscape-oriented central display is conveniently positioned for the driver's access. Additionally, the Avenger comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, allowing for easy connectivity with smartphones. The Avenger comes standard with two USB ports in the front, but an additional USB port in the rear is only available as an optional add-on. Conversely, the Volvo enhances your driving experience with a Google-developed infotainment system. Featuring an impressive 12.3-inch portrait-oriented center display, the EX30 sets a new standard for clarity and sophistication in interface design. Google's intuitive operating system brings the Internet's power to your fingertips, offering seamless access to a plethora of information and entertainment options. Similar to its counterpart, the Volvo seamlessly integrates with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, ensuring continuous connectivity and entertainment throughout your journey. Furthermore, with up to four USB ports, including two in the rear, everyone on board can keep their devices charged and ready to go. Moving on to the lineup, the Jeep Avenger offers a simple lineup with only one version of battery and engine setup, available in three different trims the Longitude, the Altitude, and the Summit. 
The Volvo, on the other hand, boasts a more diverse lineup featuring three versions based on battery and engine configuration. The single motor, the single motor extended range, and the twin motor performance version. Additionally, the EX30 offers three different trims, Core, Plus, and Ultra. It's worth noting that the single motor version is only available in the Core and Plus trims, while the single motor extended range is offered across all three trims. Meanwhile, the twin motor performance variant is available in Plus and Ultra trim only. It's also worth mentioning that Volvo has announced an upcoming cross-country version of the EX30, set to be released later in 2024. However, this variant is not included in today's comparison. Stay tuned for a future video where we'll delve into the details of this cross-country version. Interested? Make sure to subscribe to our channel Car Comparator to stay updated. Okay, time to take a closer look at battery, range, and energy consumption figures. The Jeep Avenger lineup is equipped with a 54 kilowatt hour battery across all trims, offering WLTP ranges ranging from 394 to 400 kilometers. However, in real world conditions, considering 80% of the WLTP range, the Avenger achieves realistic ranges of approximately 315 to 320 kilometers. Switching to the Volvo, the single motor variant features a 51 kilowatt hour battery with a WLTP range of 344 kilometers, translating to a realistic range of around 275 kilometers. The single motor extended range and twin motor performance variants are equipped with a larger 69 kilowatt hour battery. This results in higher WLTP ranges of 480 and 460 kilometers, respectively with realistic ranges of approximately 384 and 368 kilometers. Moving on to energy consumption, the Avenger showcases energy consumption figures ranging from 15.4 to 15.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers, depending on the trim level. Meanwhile, the EX30 exhibits slightly higher energy consumption figures, ranging from 15.7 to 16.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers across its variants. When comparing the Jeep with the single motor version of the EX30, the Jeep wins in terms of range, owing to its slightly larger battery size and lower energy usage. Upon examining the performance figures of both cars, it's clear that the EX30 outshines the competition. The Jeep Avenger lineup boasts consistent acceleration times of 9 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour across all trims, with a top speed of 150 km per hour. Each variant is powered by a 115 kilowatt motor, delivering 260 newton meter of torque, driving the front wheels. In contrast, the Volvo EX30 lineup offers a range of performance options to suit different driving preferences. The single motor variants achieve impressive acceleration times of 5.3 to 5.7 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. Both these variants are powered by a 200 kW motor, producing 343 Nm of torque, driving the rear wheels. Stepping up to the twin motor performance variant, the EX30 delivers exhilarating performance with an acceleration time of just 3.6 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. This model is powered by a robust 315 kilowatt motor generating 543 newton meter of torque, driving all four wheels for enhanced traction and control. Each variant of the Volvo has a top speed of 180 km per hour. Beside range and performance, the charging capabilities play a crucial role in shaping the user experience. Let's plug in and dive into the details to see how these electric SUVs handle the charging process. With a maximum AC charging power of 11 kW, the Jeep Avenger can be fully charged in roughly 6 hours. Furthermore, the Avenger supports DC rapid charging with a maximum power of 100 kW, allowing for a 10 to 80% charge in approximately 29 minutes. Meanwhile, the AC charging capabilities of the EX30 single motor variant align closely with those of the Jeep.
However, the single motor extended range and twin motor performance variants offer a higher AC charge power of 22 kilowatt, reducing the AC charging time to approximately 4 hours. For DC charging, the EX30 supports, depending on the version, a formidable 134 to 153 kilowatt charging power, with a charging time from 10 to 80%, taking between 26 and 28 minutes. Both the Jeep and the Volvo have their charge port located on the rear left side, a setup that may be inconvenient in right-hand driving countries where the charge port faces the roadside. All right, let's shift our focus to cargo capacities now and see how much gear these vehicles can handle. The Jeep Avenger lineup offers a boot capacity of 355 litres with the seats up and an impressive 1250 litres with the seats folded down. However, there's no frunk available in the Avenger and towing capabilities are not supported. On the other hand, the Volvo EX30 lineup presents slightly smaller cargo volumes with a boot capacity of 318 litres with the seats up and 904 litres with the seats folded down. Additionally, the EX30 models come equipped with a small frunk offering 7 litres of additional storage space. Notably, all EX30 variants support towing, with maximum loads ranging from 1,000 to 1,600 kilograms. So in this category, the Volvo stands out with its frunk option and towing capabilities across all variants, while the Jeep is the winner in terms of cargo space. Moving on to our next topic, weight. As you're probably aware, weight is a crucial factor that influences the driving behavior and performance of vehicles. In general, as a vehicle's weight increases, its dynamic driving qualities tend to degrade. Additionally, it's worth considering the implications of weight on taxes, as certain countries impose taxes based on vehicle weight. The Jeep Avenger lineup has a consistent weight of 1,595 kilograms across all trims. Meanwhile, the Volvo EX30 lineup exhibits slightly varying weights, with the single motor variant weighing in at 1840 kilograms, the extended range at 1850 kilograms, and the twin motor performance at 1960 kilograms. This translates to the EX30 single motor variants having a weight roughly 250 kilograms heavier than that of the Jeep. Shifting our focus from weights, let's explore the warranty terms. Both the Jeep and Volvo come with a general vehicle warranty period of three years. However, there's a difference in mileage coverage, with the Avenger offering unlimited mileage, while the EX30 provides coverage up to 100,000 kilometers. Both vehicles impress with an eight-year or 160,000 kilometers battery warranty, offering long-term assurance for your power source. Okay, time for price tags. Let's analyze how these electric SUVs fare in terms of affordability. When comparing the least expensive Volvo to the least expensive Jeep across different European countries, Volvo consistently presents a slightly lower initial price point. Notably, in Norway, the disparity is most pronounced, with Volvo's price being 8% lower than that of Jeep. This trend is followed by Germany and the Netherlands. In the UK, however, the gap narrows to 3%. It's important to note that in the UK, the core trim is not listed on the pricing list, resulting in the EX30 starting at the plus trim level. Additionally, in other European countries, the price difference between the core and plus trims is approximately €3,000. Another noteworthy aspect is Volvo's inclusion of a more comprehensive set of standard features compared to Jeep. For example, the EX30 is delivered with 18-inch wheels as standard, whereas the Avenger comes equipped with 16-inch wheels. Moreover, the EX30 includes adaptive cruise control, navigation, and a rear-view camera as standard features, whereas these are optional extras for the Jeep, each with its associated price tag. This altogether indicates that Volvo may provide better value for money for budget-conscious buyers. As we're approaching the end of this video, it's time to summarize some pros and cons of both cars. Starting with the Jeep, the Avenger boasts a unique design that pays homage to Jeep's heritage, making it stand out on the road. 
Additionally, it offers good boot space for its segment, along with low energy consumption and a commendable WLPT range. However, there are a few drawbacks to consider. The Avenger is only available in one motor and battery setup, lacking options for long range or performance variants. Additionally, adults may find the rear seating position uncomfortable, and there's no frunk available. The Volvo EX30 impresses with its attractive design and luxurious interior, offering competitive pricing and well-equipped base models. Moreover, it boasts a high level of safety features. On the flip side, the absence of a traditional driver's instrument cluster and relatively limited cargo space may be considered drawbacks for some buyers. In conclusion, both the Jeep Avenger and the Volvo EX30 have their strengths and weaknesses. The Avenger shines with its unique design and low energy consumption, while the EX30 impresses with its attractive starting price. Ultimately, the choice comes down to personal preferences and priorities. I hope this video has shed light on some crucial distinctions between the two vehicles. Did you enjoy watching? Be sure to hit the like button to share your appreciation. And if you're eager for more content like this, don't hesitate to subscribe and become part of our growing community. Your support ignites our enthusiasm for producing more captivating content. Feel free to leave a comment suggesting which other cars you'd like to see compared in our style. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.